Yikes. Let's go. What's good? What's poppin'? It's your boy Denzel Dion, and welcome back to my channel. Are you poppin'? Because I know I am, okay? I am back with another video, and yes, and as you guys can see by this title, I am cleaning out my closet. Like two years ago, I made a cleaning my closet video, but when I say cleaning out, bitch, this is something different. We are cleaning out. The things that are in my closet has got to go. And I've known that, and I've known that for many, many months and years. But I'm just, I'm a hoarder. Like, I'm just like, how about if I need this? Bitch, it's been about three years, four years. I still don't wear the stuff that I say I'm gonna wear. How about a, a, a theme party? I need to wear this to a 2000s party. I need to wear this to this party. It's not gonna come, Denzel, so just let the shit go. I need a whole new fucking wardrobe. Everything in my closet needs to be gone. And you guys are always asking, Denzel, I wanna see what your closet look like. Bitch, we well, get ready. Cause it's nothing cute. It's actually nothing cute. I look at my closet, I'm like, this is god awful. This is disgusting. I'm gonna just care show me on my closet, cause it ain't gonna be cute. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But here we are. Hey darling, if this is your first time seeing my face or knowing my existence, please click that subscribe button. Subscribe, 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 that helps me a lot. If you, yes you, if you are watching this video right now, stop this video and give this video a big fat <laughs> thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get right on into this video. Shall we darling? Okay, before we go on to the dungeon, okay, this is one of my dungeons. I call my closet a dungeon because that's what it's giving. Um, I have four closets in my house and all of them are occupied with my stuff. So this is just the main closet. This is what I go to to look for what I need to wear. The other closets, we're gonna call that storage. It's like storage space. And then I know you guys are gonna ask me a lot to put these on Depop, but I just don't wanna sit here and it's too much stuff to be sitting in. It's too much, it's too much. I feel like I just wanna just donate them and just put them in the clothing drop or just drop them off somewhere, you know what I mean? But I'm so tall, bitch has to always crouch. But anyways, before we go into my closet, which is this bad boy right here, this is my shoe wall. I have a lot of shoes that I need to throw away, but they're not on this wall. The only shoes that I really wanted to throw away were these. I wanted to throw away, I have four triple S's. I wanted to throw all of them away. Not throw them away, but like donate them. But you know, what? when it comes to these shoes, okay, I spent $1,300 or above on each one of these shoes because I got them and I couldn't get them for reset. This is when like these were hot. And I just don't feel like it. It's something just don't sit well with my spirit, like donating shoes that were $1,300 that I paid for. So this is just gonna stay here. Okay, if I'm not gonna wear them, maybe my son wear them in the future. These will probably be like some cute little vintage sneaker. You know, in the 20, I was gonna say 2020s, oof, no, 2030s, 2030s, 2040s. These may make a comeback, you don't know. Probably in a couple of years, these may be it. It may be that bitch. But now, this is just, I just don't like to wear these shoes anymore. I've, I've outworn all four of them. And yes, believe, bitch, I was wearing these shits every day. They're, they're just here to fill out my rows and how I have them. But these are the only two shoes that's on this wall. My other room was on that rack. The whole rack has got to go, and I'm gonna show you guys that later on in the video. That whole shoe rack that I have has got to go. But yeah, um, these are the only two shoes that I'll consider getting rid of, but I'm not gonna get rid of. I don't wear these, I don't. I, I don't know why I bought these. I wore these once, and I've never worn them again. They were cute gym shoes, but they're not, I don't, I don't yeah. But anyways, how I have, wait, 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 how, do I have to make a disclaimer? Do I, do I wanna be that bitch who makes a disclaimer? I'm not gonna make a disclaimer, y'all gonna think what y'all wanna think. YouTubers be like, guys, this is not meant to brag or anything. Bitch, you think what you wanna think. I'm not gonna be that bitch to apologize for what I have. So if you wanna think that, you can think that. People wanna see, so I'm sure you what y'all wanna see, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and apologize for stuff that I bought with my hard earned money. I'm just not that bitch. Sorry to break it to you. So if you came in for a disclaimer, I'm not here to brag or anything. I'm just, girl, click. Off. The only shoes I'll throw off here, as you guys see, I'm very organized, okay? This is my Jordan row, okay? So we have the twos, we have the white fours, the black fours. This is my Balenciaga line. We have the track ones, the track twos, and the triple S's. This is my Nike line. We have, I call it Sakai. I don't know, Sakai or Sachet, but we have these, and we have the, these ones of those, and then we have Air Force ones, my Skeptas, and then we have my Sean Witherspoons. And then down is just random, these are just random shoes, like it goes from, the Yeezys, to these Converse, the Tyler Creator Converse, and then to like the Air Maxes. And these are my ones, can you is it your friend? These are my ones, you know what I mean? And then up here is like my designer shoes, like my Dior sneakers, and then, you know, the shoes that people hate. 
but I love. And then my rents, you know? But yeah, that's just my shoe wall. Yeah, it'll stay like this. I need to add more shoes that's coming in the mail because I ordered a whole new wardrobe. So yeah. Now let's go into the bitch we're cleaning out today. It's gotten to the point, you know what, let me just shut up and clean, but it's gotten to the point where I don't have anything to wear nowadays. Like, I come in my closet, I look at all these clothes and be like, bitch, what the f is this? Like, I have nothing to wear. Like, you know that um, Liz McGuire meme when she looks at her things, she's have nothing to wear? I relate with that. We have these clothes, but it's not wearable anymore, okay? Um, a lot of these clothes were from when I was bigger, so this is what I could just do as fashion-wise, like, you know, be hip and stuff. These track pants, I'm not a fan of track pants anymore. She's got to go. Uh, you see, I always save these because this is a Sean John sweatsuit and I always save these because I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go to a 2000s party. I wanna wear velour. But I think it's time to go. Like I actually, do I wanna, no, no, no. She has to stay. She hasn't been worn in about four years, but I now need her someday. Denzel, no. No, I don't need her someday. These track pants has gotta go. Just, I don't I don't wear track pants anymore. These barely fit me when I was about 400 pounds. And I know for sure they're not gonna fit me now. As y'all seen in my, trying on my old clothes, she was falling off my waist. She's gotta go. These has gotta go. I'm sorry. These gotta go. These are cute, but I've barely ever worn these. Would I need these? Okay, I guess I could keep one for like a cute little sporty look. These, I don't really like these anymore. I'm wearing them. No, darn. Oh, I just worn these in a the picture. She was cute. She was a moment, but damn, I like these. Uh, this is Detroit Pistons. This was cute. No, you gotta go. Oh my god, my South Pole pants with the patches. Do I want to keep it? I'll keep this set. I'll keep this set. I can't throw everything out, okay? I'll keep that. These red sweats. No, I don't really like red sweats. They gotta go. Oh, my black velour pants. Iconic. I just can't let go. I'm sorry. These polo sweats, they were cute. They were cute. Do I care for them though? No. After this, I'm gonna have to clean my closet and rearrange everything. Yeah, this is just for the pants section. Everything gotta go. These are fine. These are fine. Scrub pants, gotta go. These snakeskin pants, gotta go. Scrub pants, more scrub pants, gotta go. These are staying in. They're very big for me, but I'm gonna resell it and make it Fit. Oh no, bitch, you going right back in the car. This is like cute. Okay, so I had to really get off camera and really clean out the top. As you can see, it's a lot more down. You know, I'm gonna refold these. Don't judge on bitch, I just did what I had to do. I wanna just refold everything when I'm done with my whole closet. After I'm done with cleaning out my closet, bitch, I want new hangers. I want everything to be color coordinated. I'm really gonna get this bitch right. I've ordered so many new clothes and I still have more to go. These are all pants. Okay, like it's, um, baby. Okay, we got two bags, ooh. Now the shirts and stuff, the clothes. It's really hard, ooh. It's really, ooh, okay. It's really hard for me to let some of these things go because like, I just have such an emotional attachment to them. Like, this, this was in 2017 Coachella and it was so fun and it just, you know, I wore this recently. I'm just not into wearing the stuff I used to wear. Like, in my closet you're gonna see a lot of FUBU, Fila, Rockwear, Echo. When I was more plus size than I am now, these, I'm so happy that these brands can make the size of clothes they made. Cause that was getting my 4Xs and my 3Xs with no problem, it could still be fashionable. Cause you know now these new brands, girl, they only go up to a large. And you're lucky if they go up to an extra large. This is all that I could do. Like when I was at my biggest and people thought that I was my most fashionable, this is what I could do. I was so limited in what I could wear. So you know, we had even like, oop, polo sport. You know, it's just stuff that, it was all I could wear and all I could work with. And I'm happy that, you know, I could find these type of clothes. I could thrift these type of clothes. Oh, Carl Canai, this is such a classic. And I really do hate throwing these clothes out 
because these are vintage like old clothes. When I say vintage, I mean like bitch, these are one of ones, bitch. You can't find these nowadays. These are not, you all see that show on the Car Can I website, you know what I mean? Like just things like that. I don't, I don't know who I thought I was. I, I used to be so into scrubs, thinking I'm a health professional, that I'm a doctor or a nurse. I wear a lot of Harley Davidson shirts, you guys can see, because Harley Davidson, they came through, okay? I was finding a lot of three X's back in the day. And yeah, I'm just, I wear Harley Davidson now, but like, it'll be like a nice one, like a nice old school one. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, they, they stand. I'm sorry. These turtlenecks are for sure staying. Let me put this shit right on back, okay? Let me know my place. This Fat Farm shirt, do I really want to give this away? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Let me tell you something. I wasn't going to film this, right? Um, I've wanted to clear my class for a long time and I wasn't going to film this. But what made me actually do this, I was like, you know, I'm only going to do it if I actually really film it because I have to do it. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes filming stuff helps me actually do it. I don't know. I love this Harley Davidson tee, but you got to go, honey. I don't know what this was. I never wore this, and you can see why. Oh my god, this is so sad. Like, actually, so sad. Oh, cute jacket. So sad. Sweaters, sweaters, sweaters. I have a lot of crew necks. I used to wear a lot of these Dicky shirts. Dickies is your best friend. If you're a plus size, you know, you can't really find things that fit you that look good. Always go to Dickies work clothes, bitch. Always. Dickies, the work shirts and the work pants will always hit. Like, I don't wear these things. I don't even know how I survive. Like, I really don't know. Oh, I want to give this away so bad, but I just can't. I can bring myself to do it. This is, you know, y'all you, seen this sweater multiple times, bitch. You know, you know. Yeah, uh-uh. The blue one, I love this one because it was giving me, oh yeah, me, 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 Mr. Postman. Hey, hey, hey. Oh yeah, say the man in Mr. Postman. Wait, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Postman, you got to go. Y'all know this one too well too. I always keep this, but it's time for her to go too. It's time for this one to go too. I just like this flannel because I've had it since 2011 and she's gonna stay here. I don't care, period. This was a cute graphic tee. Red, gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. I need new crew necks. These just be look, I hate linty ones, bitch. Make me look dirty, bitch. This is so cute though. Uh, should I, I feel like it's made its moment. Like, I've already worn it. I mean, I could wear it, but not take pictures in there. She stayed in. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, so I have this shirt, and it's so small for me, but this is my gold shirt. Like, but it fits like a medium. Like, if I show it, it looks like a tube top. So I keep shirts like this in my wardrobe because I know, like, when I fit it, a bitch has lost weight, you know? So this is my next goal. My first goal was this. I bought this shirt in September, and when I tell you, this is this Telfar work shirt, and this is like $150. I have never spent $150 on a shirt. I'm sorry, I like to spend my money, okay, on shoes and bags. The clothes can be cheap, it can be thrifted and stuff like that. I have never spent $150 on a t-shirt. It's not a lot of money, but it's a lot for a t-shirt. Where I come from, I'm sorry, I don't care how much money I have. $150 on a t-shirt? Girl! But I was like, you know, let me buy it, because if I fit it, it means I'm making progress. And I wore it in my last Instagram picture, and it fits. So I'm making progress. It did not fit me in September when I bought this at all. Like this shirt, like this at Hardy shirt, when it fits me, oh, uh, this is like, this shirt is like where I want to be in my goal. So I have gold t-shirts, which I feel like is very good. This Rockaway shirt, it's cute. It's done what it's done. It's so big for me now. Oh, I love it though. You gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. I love these hangers. These hangers, ooh, they're so rich. You get your hanger like this. I only have a few of them, I need more. Every hanger is gonna be replaced to these. Yeah, I'm about to be a whole brand new bitch. Yeah, I have nothing else to do. So all the plastic hangers, they are getting cut out and I'm gonna buy like 10 hundreds of these. I want all my hangers to be the same. I'm really trying to be that color coordinated. Batty, you feel what I'm saying? Like, oh, I've never worn this, cause I don't know why, but this is Fat Farm. Gots to go. Hold up. This has gotta go. I'm over here looking like, why my closet still look full? You guys going away? I don't know, but you cute though. You could be cute. Hold on. You type cute. Do you want to? I mean, you cute, but do I ever wear you though? You just gotta go. You haven't made an appearance since 2016. Bitch, you though. Wait, hold up. I got clothes in the crevices, y'all. I got clothes in here. Okay. Yeah, these gotta go. These are just sweatpants, and I'm never wearing those army pants again. 
All right, so I forgot to show you guys the other shoes that I will be throwing out. So this is the clip of me cleaning out that shoe rack because the shoes has got to go. Now where my guys to where um, um, my other shoes are in. Ooh, why am I back like that? Why am I built like that? Bitch, I've had these shoes for so long. These shoes have been tied up like this. Like, just been on this rack for like about two years. It's just always been on this rack. I'm not gonna wear these shoes, any of these shoes ever, ever again. And it's time for me to let them go. My sister always gets mad because, you know, this is the guest room. The only guest I have really is my sister. She's like, this just throws the room off. You know what I mean? It just does. Like, what the hell is this just doing here? Like, my mom always comes for me too. My mom is always saying, if she comes over here, then this better not be here. So it's time for this to just go. And it's crazy too, all the things that I have, I didn't have any of the things I had before I moved here. Like I, when I moved here from New York, wow, five years ago, I was 17, I was so young, uh, now I'm old, I'm 22. But when I moved here, I didn't bring anything I had back home. Like literally anything, I just moved in a suitcase, I was like, you know what, I'll just build my wardrobe anyway, you know? Good. Yup. All Nikes, I always wore Nikes. Just look how ancient these are. Like, the bottoms are so yellow. Oh my god, yes, I owned a pair of these criminal shoes, yes. These are my favorite shoes, I love my Stan Smiths. I was obsessed with Adidas at one point. Like, these? Like, do you know what I had to do to get these, the Pharrell collabs? I had to go through great lengths and measures to get this shoe. Oh my god, not the superstars. If you know, you know. 2014 was such a good time. And look at us, now we just locked up in the house. Oh my god, the time I moved to LA and I wanted to be like a skater, I wanted to dress skater, you know, thrasher. I remember the point I really tried to dress like a skater boy. I've never even rode a skateboard before. I had these, these were hardly even touched. My foot was so fat that these didn't fit me, but I wanted these so bad, so I had ripped the soles out of the shoe. Damn, these are a lot of shoes. All of these shoes are going, wait, wait, wait. All of this, yep. Well, it's leaving, so yeah, I'm just gonna put these in bags, and that's it for the shoes. Well, yeah, guys, that was me cleaning out my closet. If you want a video of me reorganizing my closet and showing you guys the new wardrobe that I have and the style and look I'm going for, truth be told, I don't know what I'm looking for, right? Like, I don't know what style. I have a style that I want to go with, but that's when I reach my goal as weight in terms. Like, when I reach 250 pounds, there's a style that I wanted to wear and be for a long time, but I'm so extra. When it comes to stuff like that, when I'm 250, a whole brand new bitch is coming, you know what I mean? Whole brand new hairdo, this won't be in. So I want a brand new look, and I feel like I need my style to match with it. But within due time, so now we're in the times where I'm transitioning to that. Yeah, I'm like, you know, um, what do I do now? I do know the type of look that I'm going for. I know it's cute, but it's not what I want. If that was it for this video, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you like to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like I shoot at. You see me, I'm doing it. You watch, I post. You don't watch, I don't post. So watch. Until then, see you later, my darlings. Bye. Toodaloo.